Two people are dead in a busy intersection shut down after a crash in Warren County. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Darda. Cherie has the night off. Witnesses say the couple killed blew through a stop sign and they were hit and dragged by a dump truck. WLWT News 5's Jackie Conjato live right now on the scene. Jackie? Mike, this happened uh, just after 10:15 today, and you can see the scene here. The intersection still shut down as they are pulling what's left of that dump truck out from the roadside ravine there where it tumbled. The son of the driver told us it flipped twice down that ravine and then landed on top of the car that it hit. That car carrying 76-year-old Leonard Lawson and his wife, 73-year-old Joyce Lawson, according to officials, both from Trenton, both. Uh, were killed here on scene. Again, according to officials, when they were headed um, along 350 and failed to stop at the stop sign here, that's when this dump truck uh, plowed into them and then both vehicles tumbled down the hill. We spoke again with the son uh, of the driver of that truck. 63-year-old um, Robert Beadle was the man behind the wheel, and his son tells us, luckily, He's okay. He was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, bumps, bruises, and cuts, uh, and is back home now uh, doing okay other than just being very shaken up by all of this. We spoke with folks who live around here. They say that people rarely stop at this stop sign here on 350, so uh, it's been a dangerous situation for some time. And uh, we're hoping to talk with, in the next few minutes, uh, one of the, a farmer out here who neighbors tell us uh, saw this happen and actually came up and was plugging the fuel leak, uh, the diesel fuel leak, uh, I'm assuming from the dump truck um, with dirt trying to contain that. So uh, we'll have a lot more for you coming up at 6. Reporting live tonight, Jackie Conjato, WLWT News 5.